Hello all, Havoc here. Let's get ready to play some Space Engineers. Okay, so today's episode, I want to continue the, the redesign of the Scorpion. And uh, several of you guys made comments about how, um, well, it looked like crap. No, I'm kidding. You, well, you guys didn't really say it looked like crap. But it just doesn't look right. And I totally agree it doesn't. And well, there were a few comments about why doesn't it shape more like the Maelstrom? With that, I'm like, uh, why am I going to shape it like the Maelstrom? This isn't. This is too big. The Maelstrom's too big. Look how long it is, and so I started thinking about it. I was like, wait a minute. If we took and cut off basically back here, from here back, and then from here down. I just had the three row of grinders. We could put welders right here. Right here. We could put a connector block right here. I mean, it's literally everything we need right here in this package. Um, three containers, three grinders, five welders. Oh, wait, four welders. <laughs> Math with havoc. <laughs> Uh, and then from there, we just armor plate it and put uh, control blocks on it. So it's going to be the same size as a ship that I have built now with more function. So it almost makes you want to just cut this thing up and just use this. But we're going to leave the mail strip together uh, because I still want to grind quite a bit of the station down. So I'm going to redesign that guy to coincide with the ideas that I have coming from this. You know what, let's bring him over there. Okay, so let's bring this guy over there. So we have something to compare and look at and, and whatnot. So I think using the command blocks and, and or not command blocks, what is this, Minecraft? Jeez. Using the uh, remote control blocks and whatnot will really add to it. So I think we'll park him like right here. So we just come to the door and kind of look out the window, kind of thing. All right. So so first and foremost, well, this thing has got to go. So I'm gonna grind this thing up, and uh, once I get it all ground up and everything. We'll basically go back to square one of redesigning of the the new and improved Scorpion slash Maelstrom hybrid Mark three point something or other. Man, these guys are telling you those guys are getting close. He shot across here, going that direction, and he got so close. One of these times, I'm come in from recording, and be like, "Coming in hot." And it won't be me doing it. It's going to be one of those guys. So, All right, so I'm going to go ahead and make a cut and uh, get this ground down and get this all put back the way how we started to this guy in the first place. So I'll see you on the other side of the cut. Okay, so we're back. And let's see here. How we're going to do this is, is a bit more like this. So we're going to throw this guy here. Is that right? Hmm. No, it's not right. So it's actually going to be more like this. Like this. Then we have to go to the conveyors. And so... Hmm. I don't know if it's going to work exactly how I had planned. I was thinking that the containers were a little bit different shape. But this is fine. We're going to... Uh, I think this will work. This goes like this. Come on now. There we go. Number eight. One in one. Okay. 
eight. Is that gonna fit? Yes, it'll fit. Okay, that's that's what I'm after. As long as it'll fit inside this bay, I'm okay with that. Uh, the other thing is, is it gonna fit out the door? Yes, it'll fit out the door. Okay, cool. So this is gonna be that line. Let's go ahead and get this welded up. I gotta say that's mighty impressive. <laughs> uh, that's something that's not gonna get boring. So why aren't you... Oh, okay, I was missing the click. Or I was in the way. I think I was in the way. So like this. There we go. I think this is like going to be a much better, more functional design. Um, so I'll be able to put uh, plenty of reactors on here. I'm going to put a con connector in the middle. Um... So let's look at containers. Let's see what containers we have. I think we can use these. Do these have a large door on them? I can't remember. So let's go to a spot on our toolbar and we'll throw a couple of these on here. It's been a while since we used some of these. And no, and no, and no. All right, so number five is not available for small ships. Actually, I should have just looked here. Uh, so that's not available for small ships, and neither is that one. So those are both gone. Okay, and so neither one of these will help. And that'll be massive. Okay, so it looks like this guy, <laughs> if it will do what we need it to. I mean, if this will do what we need it to, it'll just service us more storage. Because the actual uh, grinders themselves hold quite a bit. So, all right, let's go ahead and weld those up and then see if we can access right there. Okay. As I go the wrong way. Okay, so that is a port. That's an access port. And then if we put... Okay, yeah, I'm liking how this is shaping up already. So we put our connector on the back. Uh, let's go with the armored one. Yeah. There we go, like so. That'll get welded up. And then we put... One of these guys, not that guy, <laughs> one of these guys, right here. Then we can put a series of reactors right there, but one here, one here. Uh, we can also put them up here if we need to, but um, I don't know if that's going to be needed. Probably is, but you never know. Uh, components. Something like this. So this will be well protected. So now let's see, where can we put our camera? I wonder, well, let it put you, let it put it right there. Oh, that would have been awesome. All right, so what we'll go ahead and do is we'll put... Um, We'll put some armor on this thing. Probably about like so. We'll throw some cool shapes in here or something, but we'll be able to put our camera right here. And we'll put our command block back here. I keep saying command block. Remote terminal. Did we take that off our toolbar already? Yeah, we did. We took that off the, uh, last episode. G remote right there. That being the front, should we put it there or should we put it here? Let's put it here so it's a little bit further back and not as likely to get destroyed. 
I stand corrected. It's going right there. And we know if our camera's going to get smashed, so is this thing. So I'm going to put reactors and gyros across here as well. We'll be able to put our up-down thrusters right here. So thusly. Why? I was like, why isn't it placing? No. I was really hoping it was going to be able to get placed there. So large tubes. All right, so we can do this one here. And this one going the other way because we're going to put armor blocks across the top, so that one get eaten up that way. I'm not sure I'm going to armor the bottom. Um, if we do, we do. If not, it's no big deal. So then, one here. One here. And about like this. Like this. And then like that. So we'll end up with two in all directions. I think that'll work. Except for this guy right here. So two up, two down, two front, two back, two left, two right. That looks like it pretty much got it covered. Let's just throw an antenna on here. Oh, uh, with the need of the small tube. All right. Let's see here. Don't really want to cover that, but oh, it happened. All right, so let's see what this up. Cool. So those thrusters are on. That's on. Okay, so it looks like everything except for things that needing motors, because this guy for some reason is hoarding all of them. All right. No idea why he did that. Why'd you do that, Scorpion? I don't think he wants uh, this other shit built. I think he's scared. Alright, so go we'll climb in, get all this stuff welded up. Okay. So we're going to go with reactors. That are empty, and I'm going to guess that those are them. All right. So else is it missing? Okay, we're also missing some gyroscopes. Don't want to get too overzealous and disconnect it before it's actually ready to be disconnected. So let's eat and we'll put those nowhere near anything because I don't have any steel plates. Alright. Uh, we're only going to do two. Because I think 
as small as a ship is, uh, this is not going to be needing a lot of rotational stability kind of things. And so all the reactors are on. All the thrusters are lit. Uh, oh, let's name it. Remote. All right. And then we'll cut it free. All right. So that's that. Come over here, have a seat. So we should be able to go okay. All right. What is this thing going to be called? Actually, let's go do that real quick. Forgot about that part of this process. Info. Actually, I think we're just considered four, or are we still during the R&D stage? Uh, if you guys think it should be Mark IV because we made the other one that I already ground up, let me know, and we'll update his moniker to be uh, Mark IV. So let's come back in your K. Scorpion Mark III. Remote. Control. Oh, wait. We want to hit G. There we go. Welders and grinders. Whoa, I think two in all directions might be a bit much. Um might be and R are a drastic two gyros as well. That uh, two gyros is a lot. Um Wow. Yeah, I think we might reduce the thrust down to one in all directions. Okay, so if we hit T. Okay, so that took us out. So let's go back in to Scorpion Mark Three. Remote control. Wow, it's insanely sensitive. It flies very well, though. It stops on a dime. All right, so... Yeah, I think this is pretty awesome because the way the bottom deck is, if I put some armor plating or something like that on there, um, he's going to be able to easily dock up there. So let's see if I can do this from here. Whoa. Yeah, two thrusters is just too much power. Yeah, he's the right size, just the right size. Wrong way, Havoc. See, just like that, look at that. Yeah, that's going to be a really nice fit up there. Um, wow, thanks guys for your Kaiser's comments. This is why even 
for the lack of a better term, negative feedback. I mean, you guys saying, well, quite honestly, one of the comments was, is the sphincter in the front of your ship doesn't look like it's going to work. Well, <laughs> and I didn't think it would either. I, I wasn't quite sure. So I was just building the thing to get some ideas out of my head. And this, with some, with some uh, dressing up, put some armor plates on this, I think this is going to be a much better ship. I really, really do. Um, I mean, I could easily modify this thing to have a lot more functionality. Uh, removing one of the thrusters each side, I'm going to wait to do that until I get some armor plating on there. Because um, once you add the armor, it's going to add the weight. So, um, let's see here. Uh, I need to paint job. Um, uh, take a drink there. A little excited. Um, can we put a chair on this? Just for the sake of having one on here right now. Interior plates, please. Do you have any? How about it? All right. All right, so construction components, interior plates. All right. So, yeah, I think this is a much better design, and it wouldn't have come about if you guys had not made the comments that you guys have made. Um, that's where, can, you know, you take things as constructive criticism, even no matter how bad they come across. So... And if you can't take things as constructive criticism, then, oh, don't listen. <laughs> I don't know what else to say to that. Um, so let's see here. So let's hit K. Remote block. Control. Yeah, I really think... All right, so let's check our inventory. Um, let's see, containers. 11,250. I bet you the grinders hold more. The welders almost do. 33,000. So containers are going to hold a little bit, and then the grinders are going to take the last of it. So this isn't going to be the workhorse that we have in the Maelstrom. But um, if we're finding that we don't like uh, the storage capacity, I can always add a few more of those cargo containers on the back. Um, okay, cool. We can barely see our grinding disc on the bottom of the screen. That's pretty awesome. So let's take out some heavy armor plates and see how that impacts our inventory. So four heavy armor blocks. They all went into one car container. Yeah, we'll be fine. Because like I said, I can easily extend all three of these back one row. That gives me an opportunity. You know, I might even just do that. Go ahead and do that. And that gives me an opportunity to put in uh, more reactors. Uh, tuck my gyroscope in. Um, can move the antenna back here. We can move a lot of the facility facilitations of things, of stuff, and all that to back here. It's going to grow one small walk deeper, so that's not really a lot. So I'm not going to control group that because it's not this chair is not going to stay. All right, so sweet. Um, and then we can go ahead and grab. Let's take a look. What kind of range do we have?
pretty sweet. So that's cool. The grinders work, the welders work. You know, I'm half tempted to put shorts on there instead of far, so they have a better chance of catching the grinders and repairing the grinders. Oh, we don't want to disconnect that, so let's stay away from that. So, all right. Um, well, like I said, let me know if you think the uh, moniker should be three or four. Um, but uh, I think Scorpion's done. Um, we should probably look at using a similar blueprint for the Reaper. Uh, the reason I say that is because it'll fit so nicely inside the Kestrel. So... Bam, touchdown. The crowd goes wild. Well, not exactly the best parking job, but I'd be looking at it from over there or over here when it's parking normally. So I think it'd probably be driving from right here. I put a row of seats right here so we can uh, operate our uh, remote vehicles. That's a good idea. Oh, that, was, that one's mine for the board. Okay, so we got one ship left, so if you guys have some more uh, recommendations for things to uh, to do for the board, let's go ahead and do this. And we need to take this, X that, delete that, paste that back. And we're going to do this one up here to the top. Uh, we'll call that the flybridge. How's that sound? If I could type, it'd be even better. So yeah, if you guys come up with some more stuff, that'd be awesome. So we can uh, get some uh, more items done in preparation for the things to come. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get this guy painted up and, and whatnot in... Uh, well, you're retired, buddy. Uh, I don't think there's anything in you, but let's check. There is. There's quite a bit of things in here. So, <clears throat> so this is all retired. Uh, pretty much grind this all down and add it to the Castrell's inventory. And uh, then I'll continue working on grinding down all the rest of this stuff. After Once we get uh, the Reaper finished, um, the revamp of the Reaper, that is. Uh, so the cool thing, another cool thing about that, uh, the Mark III of the uh, Scorpion is it's modular. We can make it longer, increase storage capacity. It can grow multiple directions. So that's a, it's a pretty awesome feature for that ship. So I'm, I'm really liking that footprint, that design. So um, with this guy, we might do something very similar. And uh, let's see, are those containers right there? So since this is a container, we might literally cut it off right behind the cockpit and maybe move the cockpit forward like two blocks to accommodate for uh, a tank or something. But uh, I think this, this design is very similar to what we have over there, and this is what we'll go with. So we're going to wrap it up here. Um, give me, Like I said, give me some more ideas for the board, and let me know should uh, Scorpion be Mark Three or Mark Four. Yeah, this turned out really good. Again, thanks a lot for the recommendations, guys. Um, Destructive criticism for the win. So this is Havoc. Have fun. And uh, keep gaming.